today I am going to be making a no sew t-shirt 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 bag it's like recyclable and everything so basically I'm gonna take an old t-shirt that uh, I have actually one of my dad's old t-shirts that he doesn't wear anymore and I'm going to be making a bag out of it so here's what like one of the finished products would look like it has the sleeves, which are the um, the handles and everything, and then it kind of closes off at the bottom. So it's like a little bag, and you can put it on your shoulder, put whatever you want in it. So um, yeah. So I have the instructions off to my right, your left, I think, maybe. I don't know if the camera flips that way or not. But yeah, it's over here, and it is from lethal.net yes that is the website that i have this idea from and um yeah so what you need is a shirt that you don't wear anymore obviously a paper clip or safety pin you can't really see it okay paper clip yeah paper clip <laughs> and scissors and yeah i said the shirt so yeah, let's just get started. So in the tutorial, it makes it with like three holes, but you can do, it says you can do one, two, or three. So I think I'm gonna do two just to kind of even it out there. So the holes are gonna be like at the bottom of the shirt. So the shirt's upside down, it's gonna be at the bottom. Um, uh, so it says you have to cut off the sleeves. So, yeah, I'm gonna do that now. For this one, yeah, we're just gonna cut them off. Sorry, Dad. Well, actually, you gave me the shirt to use, so I'm cutting it now. Um, so cut off the sleeves, but try to make a somewhat straight line, it says. So we're gonna go and cut. Okay, so I finished cutting off the sleeves of my shirt, so this is the one you saw me cut over here. Just kind of goes all the way down there. And then this is my other one that I cut off camera. This one's a little more curved, but it'll do. And so the next step it says is to cut off the collar here. And you can do whatever design you want. You can make it like a V, you can do the rounded, just follow that. Or you can do like kind of like a square, but I think I'm gonna keep it a round thing, but I'm gonna probably make it bigger than what the collar is because this is going to be the be the opening of where you put your stuff in the bag so yeah all right so i finished cutting my shirt as you saw before um actually from far away that thing doesn't, doesn't look that bad but yeah this is the shirt it actually looks like a tank top so i mean if you realized after you cut all this stuff that you didn't want to make a bag out of it you could just wear it as a tank top see tank top but uh, yeah, this is what I have so far. Uh, cut strips from the sleeves. And it says if you're doing one hole, you cut one strip. If you're doing two holes, two strips, three holes, three, and however many holes you're doing. And it says about half an inch wide. So I'm thinking I'm gonna do to about like here maybe i'm not a very good estimator but around there <laughs> so i'm gonna cut a strip like that on this sleeve and the same on the other sleeve it doesn't have to have the little like i think you call this a like a hem thing that's on the edge of the sleeve but i'm gonna use that because i feel like it's gonna be more of a solid base for me to like put the thing through i don't know yeah, there we go. So this is a loop. You don't want a loop. You want an actual like strip. So you're gonna take the loop and find the spot that you wanna cut it at. So it makes just one solid line, not a loop. So I'm gonna cut it right here. I guess it doesn't matter where you cut it. I'm almost there, camera. Okay. So now my loop is in one strip and you can kind of stretch it a little bit and it's like a jump rope now for 
I don't know what animal would use this. I was gonna say ants, but like, this is huge <laughs> compared to ants, but um, headband style. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. <laughs> so let's see. So I cut my strip out because, oh, I need to cut out my other one. That's probably a smart next step. I'm just cutting straight across here to make this almost kind of the same. So this is the sleeve and this is like the side that your arm will come out of and I'm just kind of cutting uh, along that. I switched over to the side because this one was being stubborn but now I'm coming back to it. But yeah, so I'm just going to finish cutting this little piece here and it'll make that loop that we had before. So if I can actually cut this, it would be a miracle. Come on. Almost there. Oh, 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 oh. Yay! Okay. So now I have the loop that I was talking about before. So it's basically just that outer edge of the shirt, like this black part basically on my shirt that I'm wearing right now. So it's basically that. And now there's that little seam where it holds it all together. That's where I cut the last one. So I'm going to do the same with this one. So yeah, I have my two strips now. And now to see the next step, because I still don't know what I'm doing. Pull the edge of the strips to stretch them out and make them curl in. Don't really need, know what it means about that, but stretching them. Time for the bottom. So, the bottom of the shirt. Woohoo. <laughs> so it says, snip slits in the hem part. So I was right, it's called the hem. It's that little sewed part at the bottom of the shirt. It kind of has the seam there. Snip slits in it, as many slits as you want holes. So I want two holes in mine. So I'm going to snip two slits. This is confusing. <laughs> I cut a slit there, hello, and I cut the slit there, hello. Like, it could pinch my nose. <laughs> so yeah, I have the two slits there. Oh gosh, my feet look big at that angle. I'll keep them like this. Um, all right. This is now stick the safety pin. I'm using a paper clip. We figured this out before. There we go, paper clip, or maybe on my shirt. Paper clip or safety pin, doesn't matter. It says stick a safety pin through the end of one of the strips we made. So one of the strips that I was stretching for 20 minutes. So slip it through. Basically all that I did was I took the slit that I made, or not the slit, the band that I made before, and I took the paper clip, and since I used the kind of hem part, I was able to put it like through, cause there's like an air pocket kind of. So it's through it like that. You can move it up and down and everything. And then I just kind of poked it through one of the sides. Oops. Yeah, take it through. Oh my goodness, put it through and poke it through if I can do it. There we go. And then I kind of closed up the paper clip and now it's attached. Gah. So it says, so I have to grab my shirt again. So start running it through one of the slits. So I'm just gonna choose one. We're just gonna do this one, it really doesn't matter because you're gonna have to do the other one anyways. And it starts, it says start putting it through. All right, so now I have a start. 
So I have my little band here. It was attached to the paperclip, and now the paperclip is in there. So it's in one of the slits that I made. So now it's I'm starting to feed it through. Yeah, I'm just kind of feeding it. It's like that chuck and cheese when you're putting the tickets in the little cookie eater. check back in with you guys once I get this through. Alrighty, so I got it through the first, no, the first one through. And just a thing, just to help you out, um, when you're cutting the slits in the t-shirt, like on the hem at the bottom, make sure you're doing it like on the opposite side. So my first one was like up here and my second one was down here. So when it comes around, it's kind of on the opposite sides because you don't want to put them like, this and then you're just gonna have an empty part there so you just want to make sure you're doing it on the opposites basically so yeah um i got it through the first one like i said and now i have to do the second one all right so i have the paper clip through the band i guess you can say and my doorbell just rung but it's okay and i'm about to feed it through the next part of the shirt so um where you end it off on the shirt so I ended off here you're just going this since it's the slit Ooh, ah. so it ended off on this side and now I'm gonna start on the other side that doesn't have the thing coming out of it so we're just gonna start feeding it through right here now if I can get this in there oh, I messed up there we go we're just gonna slide it through and there we go. Then you're just gonna start feeding the rest of this band through. All right, so I got it to the other side and you can see how it's all scrunched up here. So, and there's a lot of slack on this side. You're just gonna kind of pull it here and it'll slowly go onto the string. There we go. And it'll still be a little scrunched up because I mean, you just fed something through it. But now what you wanna do is you wanna take the paper clip out of the string and actually you're gonna want to um get it all bunched up again because uh this next step i actually messed something up here but it's okay this next step you're gonna take the two sides from the one string and you're going to try you're just gonna kind of tighten up the hole so you I don't know what I just did. Um, yeah, I did it right. So you're taking the two strings and you're trying to tighten it up as much as possible so it's all scrunched up right there. So these are the two sides and we're just scrunching it up so it makes that tight little hole there and you're gonna have the long sides here. So what you wanna do with the long sides is what it's, the reason why I've been calling it a hole is because this big scrunched up thing is going to kind of curl like this and make a hole. So I'm going to take these two long strings and I'm going to try to tie it in a tight knot. So tie another knot. Tight. Ooh, kind of snapped there. And I'm going to do it like as tight as possible. Just do kind of like a triple knot. There we go. So now it kind of made this little hole here. And it's okay, it's not big enough for stuff to really fall through. But so now what I wanna do is I'm gonna do the exact same thing, but on the other side. So all right, so I said before that I was going to re-thread the other one and I did and then I messed it up again because I decided to use the safety pin but then the safety pin broke off and I had to restring it one more time. And so I finally did it and I tightened it as before I could mess it up again. So it's all tightened up now. I just snapped a little bit. It's all tightened up. So now I have to tie it in the knot again. So it's just in that little top position. And now I'm tying it. So there's one, there's two, and there's three. So now, it has these two little holes there. Well, actually it kind of has three because where they meet up, but. So now if you look at it, 
you have a bag. So the sleeves were the handles, and then it ties off at the bottom. You can cut these off if you want. You can tie them in little bows, but now you have a bag. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you smash the subscribe button, ring that bell, and touch that like button with your shirt bag. Make sure you comment down below if you would want to make this or if you wouldn't or if I was informational enough to you guys. And um, yeah, bye bye. <laughs>